hey guys so i am back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you this makeup look and i'm also going to be giving you my thoughts on the new juvia's place palette which is the palette that i used to create this very pretty glittery blue look i don't usually like glitter eyes but i figured i will give it a try and use it and i actually really liked how it turned out and i was honestly not feeling it until I started putting on my base um, but before we hop into the video um, make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you end up enjoying it and if you do end up enjoying it please hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all of my future content and also check out some of my old videos as well I'm pretty sure you will enjoy them if you enjoyed this one and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload i currently upload every monday wednesday and friday between two and five i will have my thoughts about the palette at the end of the video so i will see you guys at the end of the video so i'm going to be starting off with the Too faced born this way concealer in the shade chestnut to conceal my eyelids and use as my base for the eyeshadow So the first shade that I'm going to be going into is the shade Yoda from the Warrior 2 palette and I'm just going to kind of use this as my transition shade and work that into like that transition area slash my crease, my crease as well. Next, I'm going to get dip into the yellow shade from the palette. It is called Over Sabi or Over Sabi. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be applying that kind of over top the shade Yotis and right underneath it as well, just to blend it in really nicely and just give this look some depth. I was like really wasn't sure where I was going with this look to start off. So the next shade that I'm going into is the shade Love from the Wahala palette and I just start working that in the outer area first. I'm kind of using a fluffy brush first to apply on the outer edge and then I do start to blend it on my lid as well. And I do kind of use this brush halfway or pretty much through the whole process and then I go in with another packing on like more of a packing kind of brush to just make that shade less see-through if that makes sense. Once I decided that I was going to use the shade Clout, I wanted it to be less see-through. So. So now again, I changed brushes and I went in again with the shade Love and just really packed that on and deepen up that color. Okay, and for my lid color, I went in with the shade Clout from the Wahala palette. And what I ended up doing was dipping my finger into some rose water and then dipping it into Clout and then applying it to my lid since I didn't have any glitter glue. And this actually ended up working out pretty well. I thought I was going to mess it up, but I did not. I did apply my lashes and liner off camera. I went in with my Lavish Lux lashes in Joelle and those are the lashes that I applied. 
Now we're going to start working on the complexion because again I wasn't sure about this look and I kind of wanted to start applying my base just to kind of see how it was going to start looking. So I went in, I do kind of my highlight and contour under my foundation in this video. So I went in with the NYX uh, Espresso HD Concealer and I just apply that to contour my face. Next, I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Orange Corrector, and I just usually apply that around my mouth, just because it tends to, I don't know, be a little dark around my mouth where my mustache is that I waxed. So, <laughs> that's why I'm going in with the Orange Corrector, and I'm just going to blend that out with a dome-topped kind of concealer brush. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut to highlight in underneath my eye, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and on my chin as well. And then I just blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation and I go in with the shade Chai and Spiced Rum Mixed. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. Some days I like it, some days I don't. I think it just all depends on how my skin is behaving. Um, but this day it ended up being really, really pretty and I actually really liked it. Um, so this was a good day which is why I do continue to still use this foundation because I feel like if I'm having a good skin day then this foundation works perfectly but I feel like if I'm having a little bit of you know just an off day with my foundation it just this foundation just highlights all of that so um, I do blend these two shades um, chai is a little bit too nice uh, too light spice almond is a little too red but if I mix them I do get a nice nice shade as well so it worked out and I did my ears as well don't forget your ears when you do your foundations even though I don't always show it in my videos but I do do it so now I'm gonna go in with the black opal finishing powder in medium to set my highlight points underneath my eyes forehead bridge my nose and my chin pretty much all the areas that I applied the born this way concealer in chestnut and it, this powder is just like my go-to powder, guys. I know you guys are like, Dag, we're tired of seeing this. This is what works for me. I will go and try out some other ones, but it's unnecessary. Um, I do line my waterline. I believe this pencil was the MYX uh, Stay Put Liner, I believe. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the one I've been using as of recent. Next, I'm going to go in, back in with that shade Love and apply that very, very close to the lash line just to tie the look together. You guys know I like doing this, so I just apply that on my lower lash line and I do go in with a slightly fluffier pencil brush and apply the shade over Sabi underneath that blue shade as well. Now to set my entire face, I went in with the Black Opal Finishing Powder in Dark to set my the rest of my complexion and 
this just looks so pretty the complexion is just always ties a look together guys stay through through the complexion part you'll you'll see it comes together next I'm gonna go in with this shade called pepper body and I just apply that in my inner tear duct I wasn't too sure what I wanted to use as an inner tear duct but this ended up being so freaking pretty this shade with this other shade clout it just came out so pretty I love how this turned out together so now I'm gonna go in with my blush I just used a fire from the palette it's just a really pretty pretty color and I figured it will be perfect on the cheeks as well as a blush so I did use that as a blush and then to contour I went in with my usual black radiance contour palette to set my contour and kind of bronze up my skin a little bit so I always go on with this I haven't found another bronzer slash contour powder that I like and then this is the lip combo that I used okay guys so I'm just gonna pull this so I just wanted to give you guys some thoughts on this particular palette the Wahala palette from Juvia's Place um, so when they originally launched this picture on Instagram um, when it got released I was kind of underwhelmed not so much with the artwork the artwork is always beautiful and all that kind of stuff I really enjoy the packaging I kind of like that it was black um, for some reason you know their palettes are usually very colorful on the outside but I actually liked that this you know the it was predominantly black and then the pops of color were just on the palette so I liked the palette when I saw it as far as the packaging goes um, the only thing when I oh when I saw the palette on the their Instagram like when you open it I wasn't I was like what what kind of color story is this like it was just I felt like it was all over the place and then once I actually got it in person um, I was more excited about it because naturally when we look at palettes we're looking at it from like you know what is this left to right type of thing but the way it's laid out it's kind of more of like an up and down type of layout so like here you have like kind of your purples then you have like some neutrals down here in the middle then you kind of have like your greens and yellows your reds and pinks your turquoisey purpley bluey kind of colors here these colors on camera are all showing up pretty blue but um, a lot of the colors um, are kind of dual chrome like especially this one um, this one is like kind of a blue it's the one I have on my lid but um, if you look at it like up to down the color stories actually are very pretty and I do I do like it um, I do like Juvia's Place eyeshadows usually for the most part um, a lot of these colors honestly under normal circumstances aren't colors that I would grab for, for like an everyday kind of look so this probably won't be a palette that I grab often but when I'm looking to do something bold or something exciting I would definitely do that you guys I know you guys like swatches I hate doing swatches so I will link some videos down below for you guys to check out some swatches uh, swatch videos that I watch so you guys can see the colors and things like that I personally don't like doing swatches because I just I, I'm I ain't got time that's the real reason why I don't do it um but um I like the palette the this this glitter is so freaking pretty I wish I had glitter glue but I don't have any so I kind of like you guys saw in the video I kind of like made it work but I wish I had some glitter glue um oh I also use pepper pepper body I did use pepper body in my inner corner um but these shades, they are just so, like, these satiny kind of foily shades, they are so soft. Like, this shade here, Pumpkin, is just so soft. Even when you press into it, if you press too hard, you can kind of see, like, the indentation of how soft it is. Um, so I really, really like that and enjoy that. Um, but, yeah, I love this palette overall. It's super pretty, super nice. And I just I just love it I think it's a really great palette to add to the collection even though when I first saw it online I was underwhelmed but I was gonna buy it anyway because I collect Juvia's Place palettes just in general but I was more excited when I actually got to see it in person and use it in person as well I was really impressed with the mattes in here because I thought they would be a little chalky especially when you get to like the brighter colors some of them just in general are a little chalky 
and I don't know if you guys saw it in the in the video when I applied Loved. It was super pigmented when you pack it on. So that really surprised me. So I like that. I definitely like this palette. You guys know I'm going to always recommend Juvia Space. At this point, Juvia Space, y'all just need to sponsor a video. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, but I do love the palette. It's super pretty. Definitely something to add to the collection. Like I said, it's not a must have, but this is probably, I think this is the largest palette that they have as far as shades. This is, has 20 shades in it. I think the biggest one they have right now is, wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 16. And like all of their other palettes, like the bigger palettes, I think the most those have is 16. These have 20. Um, so that's really nice as well, but definitely a lot of colors and you will definitely get a lot of use out of this. So I'm going to be honest. You can create a neutral everyday look. You can get some bold looks in here. I just think this is a really overall good palette. When you first look at it, it doesn't seem that way, but honestly, once you actually get it in person, it is quite a very well-rounded palette. So I definitely would recommend it. If you guys do not have it, I will have the link down below for you guys to check it out as well um, if you guys are interested in any of their palettes. Um, so yeah, so that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, and I would definitely see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel, and yeah, bye guys.